Welcome. It's full moon and that means it's time for a reading. I'm actually going to put my sunglasses on because as you can see it's winter. It, it is actually winter. It's um, the second day officially of winter in this hemisphere and it really is a glorious day and this full moon to me feels very much about beginnings and the impulse to drive forward. If we think about it being a Sagittarius moon, it's very much about that sense of the arrow being drawn back. The incredible pressure that you've all been under will very soon be released with this full moon energy and you'll be shooting forward. So there's been an incredible build up, an incredible feeling of being held back in some respects and now it's time to fly free. I feel that on a large perspective what we'll see are very progressive social agendas being pushed at this time. We will also begin to see people being more daring, being more outspoken. It could be a time of more protests, it could be a time of a kind of almost uprising and rebellion. Sagittarius is very progressive and outspoken and fiery and yet at the same time very very cheerful so I, I feel that there's going to be a feel-good vibe around a lot of the progressive um, moments coming up over the next lunar cycle. I want to do as I usually do a reading using a card deck and I'm going to be working with, I'm not sure if you can see this because of the light, uh, this is the Oracle of the Mermaids, uh, who are very flowy, very emotional, very much about um, relationships. And while the Sagittarius full moon is really going to add some fire to all of this, I think that some of the issues that we're all going to be working with over this coming time are going to be ones that are really close to our heart, ones that really push people's buttons in terms of how they feel about things, um, how they feel about their relationships, what form should relationships take. And I think we've already seen a little bit of a beginning to this with the uh, push for marriage equality, uh, regardless of sexual orientation and also the, the huge impetus for transgender issues at the moment. There's been this immense push forward in terms of who are we as humans and how do we define ourselves and why should we be so restricted. It's a really powerful time, very beautiful time in lots of ways. So I'll connect with the cards, ask the mermaids for their blessings on this reading, which will cover the next month until the next full moon. Feeling the urge to slow down actually. Be calm. Connect with the light. Lay the cards out. So yeah. This is really interesting. The cards that I have here, firstly, are about the undertone to this lunar cycle is about being receptive. So, the first card indicates that your approach underneath everything should be one of being open, being more receptive, uh, considering gifts, considering the good in all situations, um, working to find what the gift in every situation is for you. Um, no matter how small it seems to be or how modest the person who or, or situation that is bringing a gift to you, that is the time at the moment. There's a stability, a stability to your position at the moment and therefore you can receive. Um, and the places where the gifts are going to be coming to you from are quite modest but they have great potential for the future but underneath that is your attitude and your attitude and your energy towards this whole lunar cycle let it be one of openness extending the hand opening the palm 
seeing what comes to you. Allowing your mind to be like that as well. This is about the element of the air. The mermaids are advising that this is a thought process that is also opening up and extending and being welcoming to the gift of new ideas, the gift of fresh thoughts and possibilities. The card in the centre, which indicates what will be really focused on is this immense wave of power coming through. This is an incredible card. It is about a real surge in energy. It's like when you see a wave moving towards you, gathering all its power and then exploding. That is the wave of power you're experiencing currently and we are all experiencing currently with this lunar cycle. It is about an upswing in energy, a feeling of exhilaration, vitality, a sense of your energy really returning. So this is wonderful news for any of you who may have felt somewhat stifled or somewhat um, saddened over the last lunar cycle. This is really powerful. It's very important that you put a lot of energy into making use of the available energy around us at the moment. Don't let this go to waste. Don't just glory in it. See the purpose that you can put the energy to. Be the arrow being drawn back and flying free and move straight. Don't meander. This is a straight, straight and very definite form of energy that's coming upon us at the moment. It's very strong and I really would advise you to choose a point to aim and then explode your energy into that direction. Don't hold back. Now, what will also be taking place at the moment is a huge uprising again in the sense of earthy spirituality, um, conservation, activism. That's really important, developing community. Um, Sagittarius and that Sagittarius full moon will give us a sense of being outspoken and being very individualistic, but there's also a community-minded community aspect to this lunar cycle, one in which you are really being embraced by other people, like-minded souls, where finding family outside of bloodlines is going to be emphasized, and a sense of tribe, a sense of tribe coming back to you, a sense of finding your people, um, finding people who you can really open up with. and. People not just who you have a personal connection with, but who you have a purposeful connection with. You have a commonality of purpose. You have a sense that you are growing something together. So it's not personal. This is not so much about us as individuals at this moment. It's about the growth of communities with an outcome in mind that will benefit all of us. It's not selfless because it benefits us at the end, but it's very heartfelt and it's very much about considering what will take place for children, uh, how things will be in seven years time, what will happen in 14 years time, 21 years time, multiples of seven into the future, into the future, into the future. We have a duty to leave a legacy that is not just about us and our manifestation of our own creativity which is beautiful and important but this is about the manifestation of legacy for the tribes that will come after us we are at an important juncture in our earth history our human history it's been said again and again and again what you do by yourself matters but what you do in groups truly matters find your people and work towards a common goal. Even if it's just attending a community day, something about this lunar cycle needs to be bigger than the self at this point. There is also the renewal and revival of the Lemurian energies, the tribal energies, the peaceful energies, the community energies, the energies of those who are heartfelt, honest, and true. The mermaids want you to know that the symbols for this coming lunar cycle are those of the circle and to be non-hierarchical when you join these groups try to work with ones that although they have leadership that don't have egoic um, gurus or um, mentors 
that are simply interested in accumulating power for their own individual needs. This is much more about working together, um, pooling resources, pooling talents, and finding a way through to a better future. That sounds very grandiose as I'm saying it. It's almost like I'm channeling these words and I'm kind of questioning them. It's, is that too grandiose? But it's, it's not. That truly is this cycle. So wherever you are on this incredibly beautiful blue and green planet, with all of our fragility, emotionality, with all of our tenderness and vulnerabilities, this is a cycle to be strong, where it will come naturally to have direction and to fly forward. Blessed be to you all, friends. I wish you the most beautiful, beautiful lunar cycle. From here, gorgeous Lennox Head, New South Wales, Australia, to all of you, wherever you are in the world, I wish you the most beautiful of moons, and I wish your soul all the love and expansion that there could be. I'll see you again soon. And blessed be.